Hey everyone, Monochrome Seasons here and today's topic is based on a question from Jared Browning. How do I cut out the natural hum and buzz that my amp is generating? What plugins do you use? So right now I have recorded two different tracks to show you how I do it. The first is a typical ambient track with lots of delays and reverb. And the second is a overly noisy and distorted rock guitar track. So just I will let you hear what they are. And the second one. Okay, rock guitar track. So the first step is to record your noise or buzz or hump, hum from your amp before or after your track. So you have to get the, the buzz alone. Just like this. Because some plugins can extract your noise from the frequencies of your track, but it works a lot better when you isolate the hum. The second step is to choose your plugin. In my case, it's a restoration plugin called Znoise Mono. It's a very straightforward plugin, so you only have to play your hum at the beginning or the end of your track. Click learn one time and a second time and it will learn the curve from your noise. So I click learn once again. So now as you can see, this uh, it has picked up the, the frequencies from your noise. And the only thing you have left to do is to bring the reduction fader all the way up. Now sometimes you have a little bit of noise left so you can adjust the threshold until you reach a level that you don't hear the hum or the buzz anymore. So now it is pretty silent and it works, it works great for uh, that kind of track. It remains silent until the end. Again, it's not perfect, you have some little artifacts, but it's pretty clean. And after you have um, put your threshold, you have to edit your track and cut the noise at the beginning and do a little fade in. Um, same for the end. So when the noise comes back, it starts to fade out, so you don't hear it that much. And um, one of my advice would be to put the threshold just a little bit above what you think is, is the best no noise reduction, because uh, at the mastering stage, when you will put a maximizer or a, a limiter, um, the gain will be brought up on your track. So if there is a little bit of noise, it will be brought at two. So just put the threshold a little bit above what you think. Um, I'm gonna put a maximizer just so you can see. As you can hear, you start to hear it a little bit more because the volume is brought up. So adjust your threshold just a little bit above what you think is right when you mix it uh, a lot quieter. So now I'm going to do 
the same principle on my overly noisy and distorted track. So I'm picking my restoration plugin. And I'm going to remove the maximizer because now it's too loud. And now I'm going to bring up the reduction and the threshold. As you can see, you have to slam it really hard on the, on the threshold because it's too noisy. As you can see on the wave, it's really a noisy background. But uh, when it's distorted, you can bring the threshold a little bit more up because I think it still sounds good. You can hear it for yourself. <laughs> For example, if you bring the threshold too high, you will start to lose some definition on your high frequencies. And often that's what ha it happens when you want to uh, let your note ring at the end of the song, you will start to hear the artifacts from the plugin. So I have a trick for that too. It's to use automation. So the first thing that you're going to find is your insert. And you're going to pick the threshold from your denoiser plugin. And when you think it starts to uh, lose definition on your note when it rings, you're going to bring the threshold uh, half from where you were. So maybe at six or something right here. Yeah, it's about here. So when it starts to lose definition, you bring it down a little bit, half step. The second step is to put a EQ. Just after it, a plain EQ with nothing on it. And you're gonna automate it too. So you're in your insert, I'm going to pick up my studio EQ. And I'm going to pick the band 4 because most of the noise is on the high frequencies on your track. So basically, I'm going to automate a EQ that's going to tame down the high frequencies so you're going to hear a lot less the noise on the track and you're going to retain um, the, the frequencies uh, on the mid-range that you need more to uh, get your tone ringing at the end of the track. So now I'm going to put it on so now the, the EQ plugin was off and it's brought on here. And I'm going to pick again the same studio EQ on the band 4 and I'm going to pick the gain at the same place that my threshold is going down on my denoiser plugin. I'm going to bring down this uh, band EQ. Oh, I'm going to Take it again, band four again, right there. And I'm gonna bring it down from a dozen dBs right here. So let's hear how it sounds. As you can see, it's not perfect. You still hear a little bit of noise and artifacts. I could um, tweak a little bit the denoiser plugin and the EQ at the same time, but um, it's a really great sound compared to when I don't have plugins. So I'm going to play it with the plugins and without the plugins, and you will see a huge difference.
without the plugins. Huge difference. And uh, as the same as the other track, you might want to, at a certain point, do a fade out on your track because if it's too noisy, you can remove a little bit the noise at the, at the beginning and the end of your track. So it remains a lot more clean. So that's it for today. I hope it was helpful to uh, understand how you remove the noise on your tracks. Um, there are pl plenty of other plugins for it. Uh, I'm using the Z-Noise Mono, but maybe some of them sound better than it because as you can hear, if you're using headphones, uh, you still have some artifacts on the sound. So maybe there is a better plugin if you know it. Tell me, I might have to change plugins, but this one does the job for now. And don't forget that this video was made possible because of my Monochrome's Corner series. So you can click on the video right here and you can go ask your question on the comment section. For now, I have the time to answer every single question that is asked on this video. So take advantage of that, go ask your question and you will have your answer in a video. Okay, until next time, guys.